Today, India knows Iraq as its biggest oil supplier, but the India-Iraq partnership goes well beyond oil. It is a relationship that is centuries old. Historians say the roots can be traced as far back as the year 1722. This was when Indians had, had funded the construction of a canal in the Najaf city of Iraq. And since then, there have been cultural, trade and political ties, often disrupted by conflict, but never completely snapped. Our next report flips through the pages of history. Most Indians would remember Iraq as a war zone. These pictures are from the 1991 Gulf War, when 35 nations led by America launched an offensive against Saddam Hussein's regime. Before that war began, more than 80,000 Indian nationals were in Iraq. India and Iraq enjoyed a close relationship. Historians have traced the origins of the ties back to the 1700s. The tale of the modern-day diplomatic ties, though, is a forgotten one. Iraq was one of the few countries in West Asia to establish diplomatic ties with India after independence. Despite some differences, both sides had a strong economic and military relationship. India had a very unique political and economic relationship with Iraq during the period of President Saddam Hussein. We were awarded a very large number of contracts, some of them very prestigious contracts. We used to have a very close political relationship. The trust between both governments translated to strong people-to-people -people exchanges. Iraqis admired India for its technological prowess. They respected India for extending its assistance to Iraq. Besides buying oil, Indian Air Force pilots trained 120 Iraqi MiG-21 pilots. Indians held a slew of key teaching positions in Iraqi universities and manned the healthcare system. Indians were also involved in building roads and rail links. The people of Iraq are great admirers of Indian films. In fact, every week, a Hindi film was screened in their theatres. Uh, Iraq used to show an Indian film once a week. It was extremely popular uh, on their television. And uh, I remember one amusing episode when uh, they, when Indira Gandhi was, uh, 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 was defeated in 1977, as, uh, in order to show their dissatisfaction, they cancelled the showing of the Indian film. We tried to tell them because they assumed, given their own stories of the coup d'etat, they assumed that her defeat in the election might have very serious personal consequences for her. So we were able to assure them that no, she is well, she will be fine, and indeed she could come back. Uh, we were telling them all this so that we wanted them to restore the Indian film, which the Iraqis wanted uh, very much. The 1970s was a golden era for the India-Iraq ties. Saddam Hussein's admiration for Indira Gandhi was well known. In 1974, he had visited New Delhi as a vice president. Indira Gandhi had received Saddam Hussein at the airport. It was a signal to the world, an indication of the strong partnership. When the former Prime Minister's son, Sanjay Gandhi, passed away in a plane crash, Saddam Hussein sent this message. He conveyed his personal, very emotional condolences to Indira Ji after uh, the death uh, of her son, Sanjay Gandhi. He asked Pradab Mukherjee Sahib, what is my sister experiencing? She must be very, very sad. Please tell her that her brother here in Baghdad also mourns with her. And he took up a copy of the Quran Sharif, read out an ayat to her. He, and the ayat, he, then the interpreter translated that there will be many things that will happen in your life. Take comfort. Good will come from this at some time because Allah knows best. Since the fall of Saddam Hussein, India has been trying to rebuild its ties with Iraq. But the domestic situation has proved to be a major roadblock. India evacuated thousands of Indians from Iraq 
when ISIS took over large parts of the country. The people of Iraq still see India as a friend and a partner. There is a nostalgia about this relationship, a foundation that New Delhi can use to bring some stability to Iraq through diplomatic initiatives. Bureau Report, we on World is One.